Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. SwitchCube Advanced Gaming here with the promised Nintendo Labo content. Now we do have our Nintendo Labo right here waiting for us. And today we are showcasing the Toy-Con Piano. Um, this was the second build that I completed right after the RC car being a 10 minute build. Um, and we're just gonna kinda show you the insides, how these things work, um, some of the games that can be used in, and just their overall different uses. So let's get right into it. So start off, we're just gonna turn up our volume here. Not too loud there. We're gonna go into the play section of our Nintendo Labo menu. So we're gonna go into Toy Piano and do as instructed and can connect our controllers wirelessly like so let's get these little guys out of here now how this works is you insert the right joy-con into the back of the piano like so yeah like that all nice and easy and if i remember correctly the left joy-con actually is not used in this build tech then you simply slide it into the dock that you create. Oh, there, there, it's gone. All right. So that is the piano. Let's see if I'll focus a little bit around the screen. There we go. So there you go. Let's see if I can get that a little louder. That's all right. So. Not much latency, actually, quite little for what I was expecting. And I mean, if you. So you've got a simple scale built into it right there. You can modify the pitch by sliding this little slider. And all of this works because of the IR sensor built on the back of the right Joy-Con as uh, we're gonna showcase for you real quick right here. So, if you pop open, pull out this little tab real quick. All right, and you pop open these side tabs, you can actually see fully into the unit. Now you can see the IR sensor right back there. Uh, it's not very well lit, but All right, yes, the IR sensor is set off by um, motion and anything Reflecting light back at it. So me putting my hand in there kind of messed with stuff So you've got the IR sensor back there and when it's on there's two little red lights that indicate that it is on and the entire inner workings of the piano do come down to those little strips back there those little strips every time you press a key lift the strip up into view of the right joy-con the right joy-con sees that strip being popped up and responds accordingly now this can have different reactions in different games and likewise these little knobs back there they just you pull it up rubber band puts it back down but it sees the reflective strip and does the desired action that that little piece is meant to do so we're gonna put this bad boy back together what is nice is you can open that up freely it's not a difficult task you just gotta take out that little guy right there and boom you got yourself a working piano ish slide that bad boy back into there go back into our toy con piano and and the keys work like I mean obviously they're cardboard they don't feel as good as regular piano keys but but like if I don't break them myself they're not bad at all not bad at all and if this would focus a little bit more on the piano part of it there we go So like, as you can see, 
it works. It, it It's a piano. But what else is there to do? Well, you can take these little cards, and I believe they do something in the normal piano mode. They also do play a big part in the studio mode, so you can uh, have it scan in a card. Setting frequency effect right here. And obviously you can augment that. Yeah. Pretty straightforward, just modifies the sound you have. And you can put in this one right here. And rest the button, rescans the card, and it'll put in the new desired effect and frequency effect set and Ooh. Almost sounds like a video game sound effect right there. Very little pitch left in that sound, but if you want to get rid of it, just take the card out, repress our frequency button there. And then we have these little knobs. We're going to focus back in on the, the screen for you. We've got these little knobs that are numbered. One, two, three, and then a circle. Not really sure what the circle. I don't know if that has any significance. Maybe they just didn't feel like numbering it. Who knows? But you take a knob. Uh, we're going to start with two because it's my favorite one. You take the knob uh, and you just stick it right into. Boom. And it will change the sound effect you play. And what's really cool, twist the knob, you echo the sound. When you start playing with the augmentation, that's when you can get some pretty cool and sometimes creepy sounding stuff. So that is the just generic piano app. It's, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's, it's a cool tech demo. Um, but that is not the only thing the piano can be used in. The piano of all of them is really the most tech demo-y of all the different things. Like the bike and the uh, fishing rod, the other two I've built so far, really do have some substantial gameplay in them. And we will be obviously showing that to you guys later on this week. So let's check out one that I didn't think would have capability in here. But that is the aquarium. So you can go in here. You can see all your fish, and if you hit piano keys, to my knowledge, ah, yes, you feed them if you hold down certain buttons. So that's really cool, and you can obviously see any fish you catched within the um, different uh, mini uh, fishing mini game. And another cool feature is if you, I mean, we'll just use this card for now, but if you want to make your own fish you can take one of these cardboard cards slide it into the slot and press our little scanner button and it'll scan the shape you've inputted and it'll make a fish out of it scans the shape fills it in as a fish now this is a very interesting shaped fish here but we'll give it a nice big eye there you go and there you go the Scadby G Fin is alive. It just names it after your character name, and you can do that as many times as you want. I mean, you can even take the synthesizer one, for example, and scan that one in there, and it just always makes a symmetrical shape. So you can add these fish in as many times as you want. You can catch different fish in the fishing game, all different types. And there you go. You make fish. And you can feed them, watch them. It's kind of a cool thing to have on the background on your TV if you're just kind of chilling out. It is really cool. Especially when you have some of these nicer fish, like you got the stingrays and whatnot. But that is more the fishing side of things. So we will kind of back away from that to show you more of that one later on. Next is a mode that I'm still kind of learning how to use. The studio mode. And that is you can record and do various things in... I mean, on the piano and record various 
recordings. I don't know. You can record music, play it back. Um, this one does have a special feature. You can actually go up octaves rather than um, just augment the sound up or down on a scale. You can actually go up full octaves and play different octaves. Now, if you take your left Joy-Con and put the Joy-Con baton, if you have a previously recorded piece, like I'm playing right now, you can speed up the tempo, as you can see in the left corner, or slow it down by putting a tempo with the left Joy-Con baton. And you've got cool background effects to go along with that. Yeah, that, that is um the different... Oh, right. That's the different things you can do. Obviously, you can still input your frequency cards. And you can do many, many various things with it. Um, sound generated. There you go. And then the four knobs, actually, in this case, control completely different things here. You've got, the, obviously, the volume. The second one is echo. And also just the um, nature of the frequency effect does give that fade off. Um, the third one does... reverb and the fourth one which I kind of like on this one makes the Joy-Con play the frequency you're playing I don't know if you guys can hear that yeah so they play what you do and that's kind of Toy-Con Studio mode. Like I said, not quite as much in the piano set of things, um, but we will definitely be showing you the other sets of those. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that's pretty much what you got with the piano. You know what? A little bonus content. We are actually going to show off the RC car as well today. Because why not give you guys some extra goodies to, to revel in? So we're just going to... Come back here, remove our little Joy-Con here, and place them in the designated side. And then grab the other Joy-Con by safely and properly removing the strap piece. Nope, nope, nope. And then we're gonna we're gonna do some RC cart things. Now, I have not really customized my uh, Labo sets much at all yet, but they are enjoyable nonetheless, so I will show you guys the first things. Knock stuff down, do whatever you want. No, I mean, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of moving it. You just it's your own. Now, if you want to actually modify, say, like yours does kind of what mine does, and it kind of shifts to one direction, you can modify the hertz at which they're going. You can do a little race mode if you want to do things, and if it crashes, and you can kind of see actually what the IR sensor is seeing down there. And if it crashes, boom, you lose. You can go into autonomous mode, where it'll actually follow what it sees on the camera and come to you. Um, and then you can go into two-player mode if you have a second set of Joy-Con. You can build the second included RC car and do fun battles with each other. So yeah, it's it's an RC car. Too much finer movements. Literally no movement. I really think the 170 is that sweet spot. So yeah, that is the RC car and the piano. Hope you guys enjoyed this nice content. It's a little bit of a longer video for the channel, but... 
thought we'd show you some of the Labo cases. And we will be getting you content for the fishing rod, bike, and house, and a special treat featuring one of my good friends. We will also be getting you guys content for the robot kit. So you guys will be able to see all of this fun stuff in action. But uh, until then, that's that's going to be it. So um, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment what you think. Comment if you think you're going to get one now, because the piano alone has you sold. And uh, Or maybe you think Labo's still dumb. Who knows? Comment down below. And if you guys maybe even have some cool video ideas or things you want to talk about, just go ahead and comment down that down below. Like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. And subscribe no matter what. It's been a fun one, guys. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.